four people were shot on Tuesday evening on 8th Street in Greenwich Town, Kingston. One of them, an elderly woman, has died. The others were rushed to hospital. However, according to people on the ground, another of the injured person is feared dead. Men alighted from a motor vehicle in the vicinity of a soldier checkpoint in the area about 5 p.m. and opened gunfire at an individual. The person ran and the men gave chase. During the attack, the four people were shot. However, the police do not believe those shot were the intended target. The elderly woman was reportedly sitting on a bucket when she was shot on Tuesday evening. Head of the St. Andrew South Police Senior Superintendent Kirk Ricketts gives details. Information, um, men uh, alighted from a motor vehicle, opened fire at an individual, the individual ran, they gave chase, and in the melee that followed, we understood that four persons were shot and injured and uh, at least one would have succumbed so far. We do believe that uh, one individual was targeted and that the persons who were shot and injured, including the deceased, uh, might not have been the target. Uh, these criminal sus suspects are quite brazen and they will take on uh, law enforcement and they have shown it from time to time. We do believe that were it not for the soldiers and, and law enforcement present in the space, it could have been much worse. Uh, the, the quick reaction from the JDF would have prevented uh, the men uh, carrying through the, the, the act of, of killing as many persons as they, they might have wanted to. We do have a gang problem in, in the space. Um, we have managed to, to keep it at a particular level. Uh, of course, you know that the, the zone is ongoing, uh, but we have had some persons uh, reintegrating themselves in the community, and as such, we are trying to to root them out of the space. We are using this opportunity to ask the residents within the zone. You have been living quite peacefully uh, over the last couple of years since the implementation of a zone. We want you to work with us, work with the police, work with the soldiers. Uh, tell us what you know, because these individuals have been slowly creeping back into the space. We want to know where they are, when they come back in, so that we can interdict their activities. A long-standing family dispute over land is alleged to be the cause of a double murder in the Cushney Road section of Parks Road in St. Andrew on Monday evening, cutting plans short for one of two elderly victims who was preparing to migrate to the United States. The two victims have been identified as 76-year-old Walton Pusey and 61-year-old Sylvester Leslie, who was the one relative said was planning to migrate and join his fiance in the U.S. The double murder is said to have taken place between 6.30 and 8 p.m. Monday when residents reportedly heard explosions. The bloodied body of Pusey, who is believed to have been the target, was found following the shooting while on Tuesday morning, Leslie's body was discovered in bushes. It is theorized that Leslie, who was on his way home, got caught in the gunfire. Pusey's relatives were still in shock when the media visited their home on Tuesday and were not in the mood to speak. Residents allege that it was known to many that there was a long-standing issue between Pusey and a relative over land. They claimed that the land dispute had been the source of misery for Pusey. As the bloodshed continues, a sound system selector was shot dead by gunmen in Dempshire Pen, Spanish Town St. Catherine, on Tuesday morning. He has been identified as 40-year-old David Palmer, who is also a construction worker from the community. It was reported that around 10.45 a.m., residents reportedly heard several loud explosions in the area and stumbled upon the body of the now deceased. The police were summoned and upon their arrival saw the now deceased lying on his back along the roadway. He was reportedly wearing a gray shirt, gray shorts, and had a green colored sheet over the lower part of his feet while the body had what appeared to be gunshot wounds to the chest. No motive has yet been established for the killing, the police said. The death toll from Monday night's crash involving three motorcycles and a truck on the Waterworks Main Road in Westmoreland has climbed to four. The fourth victim has been identified as 17-year-old O'Shane Solomon of Ashton District, Westmoreland, who was a pillion rider on one of the three motorcycles. The three others, all of Westmoreland addresses, have been identified as 18-year-old Jermaine Scott 
of Darleston, 24-year-old Relay McLeod of Ashton District, and a man identified only as Sanjay. Solomon died at hospital on Tuesday morning. Reports are that about 6 p.m. on Monday, three motorcyclists, one with a pillion aboard, were traveling along the roadway in waterworks when they all collided with a motor truck that was traveling in the opposite direction. The motorcycles reportedly burst into flames on impact with the truck. Up to Friday, October 13, the Island Traffic Authority and the Ministry of Transport's Road Safety Unit, RSU, reported that 105 motorcyclists had perished in motor vehicle crashes this year. The RSU said the tally was just three fewer than the 108 motorcyclists who died over the same period on the nation's roads in 2022. The traffic authorities have said that more than 90 percent of the motorcyclists who have been killed in crashes this year were not wearing helmets. The police said the four victims in Monday's crash were not wearing helmets. Meanwhile, the RSU is reporting that motorcyclists represent the category of road users with the highest fatality rate this year. It said 33 percent of the 317 road users who died up to October 13 were 